very well known and I at least, you know, look at him as the future tomorrow leader in the pharma industry because he's made it sustainable in the manner his elders have established it and he's taking it around the world and I can tell you he will tell us very good uh, stories in terms of how he has been able to move us forward and move the country forward and make it global and make it a brand go globally and we all agreed in the board to invite him because of, of his dynamism and the way he's taking the company forward so I would not wait any longer but to call upon Satish Reddy ji to give the first oration <coughs> on our beloved chairperson Sri Levindu Man Singh in his honor and his memory. In terms of uh, you know the theme itself when I look at the theme it says sustainability improving our products people and the planet it is more than apt because if I start reflecting uh, you know on what's happening in the world and especially more so in today's times when they keep talking about ESG even for a company like ours uh, you know we are under the spotlight all the time these days about ESG right the environmental social and governance aspects which was was always there it's, it's nothing new but even in terms of the investors because we are a publicly limited company most of our shareholding is from uh, you know institutional investors foreign as well as domestic and uh, public at large you know in terms of ranking of the companies one of the key things which has now come up out is your compliance to ESG when I see various economies various uh, you know organizations across the world work towards sustainable development you know when they prioritize people and the environment I also would point out specifically to the Indian pharmaceutical industry because it's, it's also been focused on sustainable and environmentally uh, you know the friendly manufacturing practices since quite some time but more as uh, in terms of uh, you know doing what's good for the society a lot of companies have taken the lead uh, you know at different points of time in their journey uh, you know as uh, of their existence to make sure that we do and I think as, as Dr. Reddy's uh, Dr. Reddy's was recognized as the only Indian pharmaceutical company you know to adhere to the uh, standards of ESG uh, when it came to the Crystal compliance right so that's that's what they recognized as only Indian pharmaceutical company to have been uh, part of that list and also this Dow Jones sustainability index which you keep hearing now the good thing is lots of companies uh, Indian pharmaceutical companies are part of this list uh, but uh, as far as Dr. Reddy's is concerned it's the sixth year in a row that we are part of this uh, index and again we are only the ninth company not in India but across the world in terms of pharmaceutical companies we are only among the nine companies who are featured in that uh, particular index and uh, also in terms of uh, you know the, the top 100 emerging markets sustainability leaders we are also featured as part of that why I would highlight uh, green chemistry or you know the, some other things that I'm going to talk about all this is again good for the business it's not something that you're doing good it's good for the business I think one sometimes what happens is you know in terms of thinking a lot of companies think that you know it's like oh this needs investment or oh, this needs a you know a lot of training this needs a lot of uh, you know the people qualified people it's not that difficult provided you make it an integral part provided you get it close to your business make it an integral part of your business you would also see that it adds to the bottom line packaging is something that touches everybody on the planet uh, you know in various industries whether it's food uh, you know whether it's healthcare personal care you know it makes it that much more uh, important but today they, I think there are real concerns uh, you know with a lot of these uh, products there are concerns of say spoilage for example there are concerns of uh, you know authenticity and also their contribution to, to the environment so within the company our experience was we formed something called a sustainability uh, sustainable packaging council what we call the SPC internally so that we also look at redesigning of the packaging we talk about uh, plastic for example we talk about plastic neutrality and circularity and uh, almost uh, you know take a target that 40 percent of our post consumer waste you know it will be recycled a responsibility for a company like us uh, you know pharmaceutical company would be to also continuously audit uh, you know in terms even in terms of selecting these uh, suppliers that we make sure that they, you know they follow these practices just because we get a low price it doesn't mean that you automatically go to them it's also important to understand uh, you know where they come from uh, you know the, what kind of practices they follow uh, what kind of recycling practices do they follow what kind of materials they use not just us but also them and a lot of association which we do with uh, you know they say for example the PDA uh, the parental drug association or even the ISP for example whole host of associations by which we actually make sure that we bring in the right knowledge 
we bring in the right uh, training needs but we also do implementation across various areas so that the quality standards of india is not just about india but to also be our stated vision from the indian pharmaceutical alliances that we need big one we, we become the benchmark to the world so whether we are developing products whether doing any other service to the patient all these things need that sense of urgency and that was the message to the people within the company right but to do all this what was important was when why we came up with that line also was we went through an exercise almost about 6 7 months where we started engaging with the patient right because everything else in the past was about you know understanding you know which products to launch what was the patent expiry if it concerned the us it was those kind of things which form part of the strategy but here in india or even the emerging markets where it's branded markets ultimately our products are going to the patient the question is trying to understand it from the point of the patient's view it was a completely different frame of reference right and then a lot of other things came out and then we said that as far as dr reddy is concerned the shift will now move in terms of a business strategy beyond the pill it will be various services it will be various activities it's it's something that we keep the patient at the center and then design all our activities around it so especially for a pharmaceutical industry like us unless we put patient at the center of everything you know it's like things uh, that can, cannot run as normal it needs to change i think all our activities you know i think that's the message i wanted to leave with saying that you know it's not about incremental costs or you know it's like something is happening here i think if you put this patient at the center of the heart of you know whatever you do from all these aspects it's always going to be good for business whenever i have sat whether it's an energy production company producing company or a pharmaceutical manufacturing company or any manufacturer who have practiced the best processes of systems and standards have been able to become the best and the comp- in a competitive manner and reduce prices in a manner that it's made the product more affordable and accessible to the consumers friends let me tell you you know and as satish said and really satish you uh, when you speak you are speaking out of evidences because you you've done it you've done it and we are proud about that that you have shown the world that india can be globally competitive and we are as good as anybody else in the world we are nothing no less than that